So you've probably come past this term before, VO2 max, but what the hell is it? So it stands for volume oxygen maximum. Long story short, it's a numerical value for how fit you are, or more specifically, how good your endurance is. So as you may or may not know, we need oxygen to breathe. And lucky enough for us, the air around us is one fifth oxygen. To be more exact, 21%. Now, say you have two people with the exact same body composition. Same muscle mass, same body fat percentage, same height and weight, identical on the outside. But one is an Olympic middle distance runner, and the other is your average Joe. Obviously, if we get them to race, it wouldn't be a competition. If they're identical, then what's going on? Well, you could only tell that they're different if you looked at their physiology. There are three main differences we can look at. Firstly, the Olympian has a higher blood volume, meaning that he can carry more oxygen around his body. Second, he has higher capillarization. This means he literally has more blood vessels feeding his muscles nutrients. And finally, and most importantly, his cells have bigger and more mitochondria working to replenish ATP. These physiological differences are mainly due to the Olympian's training and genetics. Mitochondria is the cell's power plant. It provides energy to the cell through complex metabolic processes. Just like a power plant can use coal, oil or natural gas to generate power for a city, mitochondria can use glucose and oxygen to synthesize energy for our body. So the Olympian has more power plants, bigger ones and ones that are more efficient and generate more energy. So because of this, the Olympian can use up more oxygen during his run, therefore generate more energy and run faster. Eventually there is a limit to how much oxygen you can use and react with glucose to form energy. And it depends on how many power plants you have, how big they are and how well they work. The amount of oxygen used is measured at liters per minute. So the Olympian can use up more liters of oxygen every minute compared to his average counterpart because he has more, bigger and better power plants but a bodybuilder can use up the same amount of oxygen as the Olympic runner, just because of the sheer amount of muscle mass he has. All that muscle needs loads of power plants, but just because you have heaps of power plants doesn't mean that they're any good. Therefore, VO2 max is relative to body weight as well. The Olympian still comes out on top because he can use up the same amount of oxygen as a bodybuilder and has 40 kilos less muscle mass. So that's a brief overview of what VO2 max is. So make sure you subscribe and leave a comment and it will go a long way to help me make more videos to help educate the general public about exercise science.